What is good, YouTube? Warsu here with a video on what the potential Avengers 5 could be. So there's two websites, crb.com and we've got it covered.com, are both reporting the same story. These stories have been reported over the last few months. So I've been looking on the internet of what potentially Avengers 5 could could be and it comes up with avengers annihilation which is pretty funny guys so allegedly rumoredly take this with a pinch of salt why is this funny well because a certain website stated that avengers 4 was going to be annihilation and then kevin feige came out and said that avengers 4 was always called endgame so this is interesting because the future of marvel does not seem like it's focused around the next avengers movie although kevin feige has said the next avengers team will be very different because it will most likely include Shang-Chi, the female Thor, and a bunch of other characters who weren't in the original Avengers team, although Kevin Feige did say it will include new characters and characters we haven't met yet. So what is good YouTube? Watched you here. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the pop culture based videos. So we are doing a giveaway for Endgame, Blu-ray, DVD, 4K, whatever platform you want. All you gotta do is subscribe to the channel with notifications on and let me know down below what will be the next Avengers movie. So a lot of people, including myself, have been reporting that the next Avengers movie will be the new Avengers which is true it's going to be a variation a new team of the Avengers so regardless to what they end up calling this movie it will be the new Avengers so two websites reporting the same story and it does make a lot of sense so we got it covered.com is reporting that Annihilation will be the next movie now, what is interesting is during the Phase 4 panel at San Diego Comic-Con, there was no hint towards anything to do with the Avengers. So, what has been reported on this website? Now, I will leave this down below. This is a little bit old, but like I said, guys, I have been scouting the internet trying to find out what will be the next blockbuster in terms of Avengers movie and this website is insinuating that it will be the Annihilation storyline although CRB.com has a lot more information so it says we got it covered.com has been informed by a source that the next big storyline for the MCU will be none other than Annihilation with Annihilasis yes I know I might pronounce that wrong but I'm British guys so I always pronounce things differently but it is the English language which did inherently come from England obviously will be the big bad unfortunately however we are being told that this is something marvel is slowly building towards and won't really come full true into play until phase five so because that state says until phase five then the kind of the adherence i guess the truth would mean this could still be true and they didn't need to announce anything at san diego comic-con then it goes on to say we are being told that this is something marvel is building slowly towards and won't come true similar to how it took the franchise to build a while to build up Thanos and the Infinity Stones and in between now and then we are going to get the apparent meeting of Norman Osborn who will be the big bad before Nihilus and seeing more from the Skrulls now you've got to understand this was wrote back in well two months ago it says so before Spider-Man Far From Home so they've hit the nail on the head the scrolls were involved during Spider-Man Far From Home so the validity the presidents all the kind of I guess you could say evidence the factual evidence factually speaking it was all true of what it's saying although we haven't seen Norman Osborn we do understand there's some problems between sony and marvel marvel want more kind of creative direction with the sony characters and sony doesn't want to give them that so this could very well be true to be honest so they're reporting that analysis annihilation is the avengers 5 then you head over to crb.com and i think it was a few days ago they posted this 22nd of july if i remember which is about a week ago now they said well that is more of a theory we think we know the next mcu crossover and essentially they're saying it's annihilation and then it says debuting in 2005 annihilation was a crossover in which marvel cosmic characters Battle the forces of Annihilus, a classic Fantastic Four villain who unleashes his army of soldiers from the negative zone upon the universe. Xandar and Nova Corps initially confront the threat, but soon the Kree and Skrulls are forced to deal with the coming tide. Now, this is interesting. Why is it interesting? Because during San Diego Comic Con 2019, Kevin Feige did actually confirm that the Fantastic Four is in the work. Now, then, if you go ahead and look at the evidence, 
there is some pretty strong evidence. We know the Fantastic Four will be coming at some point. So then it has like this kind of, I guess you could say, gallery. And it says, the next MC crossover will be Annihilation. And then it goes and say, the story unites several cosmic characters. Guardians of the Galaxy, Nova, Silver Surfer. Now we do know Kevin Feige has at least had conversations with some people about directing, writing the Silver Surfer movie. And we know that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 will be coming in Phase 5. And we know that Nova has been teased. And we know that there was an option to have Nova during Endgame. To confront the forces of Annihilation and his Negative Zone armies. Now, why this makes a lot of coherence to me is there is the alleged rumour that the Fantastic Four movie will essentially bring the Negative Zone and they have been stuck in a Negative Zone since the 60s. And then it says, with the increased forces of Cosmic Universe in Phase 4 and Phase 5, we do know that Thor 4 is coming we're going to have Jane Foster being the female Thor, and we could be introduced to characters like Gore, the God Butcher, and Trancis, and many characters like that. Adam Warlock obviously is coming if you see in the ending of Gal Gardens of the Galaxy Volume 2. Adam Warlock's cocoon was unleashed. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Eternals and Thor, many to be rumoured. Obviously, the Eternals will be around in the present day. They just haven't been introduced. With Nick Fury in space, something cosmic is happening. Very true. But the key to this the proposal, the Fantastic Four movie is Annihilus is a villain in Fantastic Four. With all the pieces being placed, Annihilation appears almost inevitable. You know how Iron Man was inevitable and Thanos was inevitable. So this is very interesting because, you know, how Thanos was snapped away during Endgame. Now, I've said this guy multiple times. You can go back on the channel and look. I put a video up saying that Thanos could return one day because Josh Brolin says his contract is movie to movie. So he isn't done in the MCU. We're not sure what's going to happen with his cable character. But essentially what we're saying here is if the Avengers could return from the snap, then if someone else snapped, then essentially Thanos could return. So this is all kind of hearsay. It's kind of Chinese whispers. That's kind of an expression we use here in England. Is It's kind of alleged, rumoured and leaked. So none of this is actually verified. But Avengers 5 Annihilation would make sense if they are going to be working on the Fantastic Four. Now, everyone like is thinking that, that obviously Doctor Doom would be the first villain. But if the Fantastic Four have been stuck inside the negative zone without going too comic booky on you guys, then it will be true. Now, as I was making this video tw literally 21 hours ago, Thanos will reportedly return in the MCU to the Annihilation. So the same website has reported again. So let's go over what they are saying this time. Now, it's worth noting that obviously when you have a source, I've got sources in Hollywood, you can't go on record because obviously then you'd lose the source. So it's literally you can never verify, confirm where the actual information is coming from. So you just take it as hearsay. So it says this. It had previously been reported analysis will be coming to the silver screen sometime in the next few years. But until now, that was all we know. In the comic, though, both he and Thanos were main characters in the Annihilation Saga. So it makes sense that Marvel would bring him back at some point. Before Avengers Endgame and Spider-Man Far From Home, we've been trying to figure out how the Mad Titan could return. But thanks to the introduction of the multiverse, we won't have to ask the question again. Plus, we might actually get a good version of Thanos, or a goodish version at least, and follow the storyline of the comic books somehow. Our source also mentioned the possibility of flashbacks in next year's Eternals that shows us a younger Thanos, but this isn't 100% confirmed. All we know now is that Marvel's current plan is to bring back the Mad Titan at some point. And while we imagine the studio and Josh Brolin most likely would deny this for us, as long as they can, we are confident in our source and the intel we're providing. And after all, let's not forget that it's the same source who told us Taskmaster would be the villain for Black Widow, and Robert Patterson would be the next Batman, although that's still not ver technically verified, although obviously Matt Reeves has said this. So could Avengers 5, the next Avengers 5, be Annihilation? So essentially what wegotitcovered.com is trying to say is that the next big Avengers storyline will be the Annihilation Saga, and Thanos will be returning. But like I said, guys, this is reportedly, allegedly... Actually, let's go to the title. It says... Thanos will reportedly return to the MCU 
in an Annihilation movie by Sam Plank 21 hours ago. So... I don't know, guys. I like to report stuff like this. I really would love to see the Negative Zone, love to see the Fantastic Four, and love to keep bringing you guys content just like this. So, guys, if you could, please like, subscribe, and comment. If you've got any requested videos or anything like that, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel and let me know down below what content do you want next. I will be doing a lot more DC content coming up. We've got Birds of Prey. We've got the Joker, Walking Phoenix movie coming up and stuff like that. So, guys, let me know. Is Avengers 5 actually going to be Annihilation, or is this just hearsay but like i said guys when someone has a source they can't go on record they cannot go on record but i guess with blade coming through introducing vampires is the fantastic four too much of a stretch no are these guys telling the truth i don't know we got it covered.com does cover a lot of different things and just because they're saying thanos will return in an up and coming annihilation storyline a source close to we got it covered.com has revealed something pretty exciting thanos will return to the mcu in an up and coming annihilation storyline guys i don't know if it's true but we're going to report it just like we report everything that i think is interesting for you guys so like always guys please like subscribe and comment and i will catch you in another video very soon catch ya Later.